just throwing it straight out and oh god i just got hit as soon as it hit the water there we go ah, ha, ha. oh little guy sorry about your eye there it is oh, oh. there you go he's kicking There we go. There we go, guys. Come here. Ah, ha, ha. Nice. Yes. That's a big one, boys. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys. Nice little football here. Phew. Get him released back in there. Just cranking it, man. Just cranking it. See if I can get down here. Get him a good proper release. Okay. Nice bass. I'd say he's probably about three pounds for sure all of two and a half all right let's get this guy released here there he goes there he goes he's kicking all right <laughs> all right guys wow what a grind i'm out here Battle in the sun, battle in the heat, and uh, man, I tell you what, we're just cranking it. Literally, I'm just mindlessly cranking this little crankbait along. And uh, I tried a spinner bait. I even tried wacky rigging a Senko, and I just told myself, you know what? They're in and around these rocks. If you know where I'm at, you know where I'm at. If you don't know, well, now you know. And uh, yeah, you just gotta wait, man. You just gotta wait. Eventually, they'll hit. If they're chilling by a rock and they see a little crankbait just moseying along, trust me, they'll hit it. So, anyways, today I got some uh, fluorocarbon, 14 pound. Probably need to go up to 17 or 20. These rocks are brutal. Uh, I got myself the Guggen seven foot medium go to, medium heavy casting rod. Yeah, and just a little crankbait I got out of the mystery tackle box. Uh, you guys be sure to check out the code FISHIGAN. You can get your first one for 10 bucks. <sighs> I'm beat, man. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Maybe we can get on another one, but uh, man, I'm tired. It's been, it's been a grind this morning. All right, guys, let me show you what we got going on today, so. Got myself a seven to one gear ratio. Just throwing it straight out. And, oh God, I just got hit as soon as it hit the water. Oh my gosh. Oh, he dropped it. No. Oh my gosh. Guys, as soon as that thing hit the water, he, oh my God. He destroyed it as soon as it hit the water. I was just letting it float like a top water. Oh my gosh. He caught me with my pants down what the heck oh my gosh 
<laughs> what, what do they say? I am shooketh. Jeez, that hit like a trout. That hit like a speckled trout, man. As soon as it hit the water, I just let it sit there and boom, he knocked it. <laughs> I couldn't even set the hook. I couldn't even pick up line fast enough. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I just threw it out there and let it sit. And then boom. <laughs> wow. All right, so <laughs> I can't even do a demonstration, jeez. So I'm just throwing it out there. I guess now I'm letting it sit to see if I get hit anyways. And just slowly rolling it back. And what you can do is you can feel the bottom. You can feel the little ticks. And those are the rocks, that's the mud. And you, you wanna make contact with that. We call it slow rolling. And just, just kind of bouncing with the bottom, rod tips low. Just kind of bouncing on the bottom, going really slow here. Oh, man. If you feel it getting a little tight, if you feel it hitting a little too much, slow it down. This is a square, square bill. I got it all beat up from these rocks. And what happens is these hooks will stay behind like this in the water. And this thing will just bounce and just hit the ground hit the ground hit the ground and surprisingly it doesn't get snagged i mean it'll, it'll get snagged from time to time but surprisingly it doesn't <laughs> sorry if i sound a little weird i'm all congested and stuff Whew. that covid though anyways just slow rolling it bouncing on the bottom if you get a little too much then just slow it down slow it down this is a floating bait so if i'm hitting too much i'll stop it'll float to the top Jeez, I can't, I can't move from this spot. That was so awesome. Nice. So let me show you guys what I was doing here with this shaky head. All you do is get the flat side of the worm, screw it inside all the way down, and then you're just gonna bend it and push the hook in like that. came out no he came loose oh my gosh I was texting on my phone dang it <laughs> oh you guys saw that though right that counts he almost hit the bank actually he did hit the bank then he went back in <laughs> no oh that sucks switched it up guys crankbait wasn't doing it anymore so i went to a little shaky head with the yamamoto senko god that was a nice bass jeez
little guy, little guy. Get up here, buddy. <laughs> nice. Woo. Nice. Dang. <laughs> Guys, I've been throwing a crankbait in there all morning and something about the Senko did it. Man, I got him right in the eye too. Shoot. Let's see if I can do some surgery here. There we go. Sorry about your eye. Sorry about your eye, boy. All right, it's a long way down, so I'm just gonna throw him. Ah! There he goes. Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, there he goes. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, okay, he's back. He's back. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it, now I'm out of Senko's. Gotta walk back over there and get another one. Well, what I switched up to, guys, and what I just lost one on over there was a shaky head with the little Senko. I was texting and I set it, set the hook one-handed and I lost it. Anyways, that was a little baby compared to that other one I lost. Yep. Dang, bent my hook too. Shoot. Oh, shoot.